as a child was bullied at school for being fat. What I don't understand is why Rod is still fattening kids up and locking them away if he's already done with his revenge. Does anyone know what a nun with a giant sledgehammer is doing, running around? I miss Chloe. I'm ha My parents are surely looking for me. Liz and Charlie were on the news and everything. Jay, have you seen that robot? <sighs> it's scarier than Maddie, the kitchen robot. It looked like they were doing experiments on primates a long time ago. Sexy ninja blood, of course. <sighs> what are my parents doing? I miss them. Ugh, I'm hungry again, and the fridge is empty. Oh, Charlie, come on. Jay told me you just ate a whole cake, you big glutton. <sighs> hey, you! What are you doing here, huh? <laughs> oh, don't burn away, chubby kid! Come back here! Yeah, but it's been a while. And besides, I'm still growing. Did you notice that cannon on top of Rod's van? I wonder what it could be for. When I followed Rod into town, he seemed to be fixing it or something. I, I wonder, what will I do when there are no more tasty, chubby children? Hmm? <laughs> you really want to try it out, don't you? You know, for scientific purposes only. Huh. I'd rather not touch that cannon, it looks dangerous. Ask Mike if he wants to sign up, he's into gadgets. According to what I read in his diary a few days ago, Rod, as a child, was bullied at school for being fat. Ever since then, he held a grudge against his classmates, and when he grew up, he took revenge by fattening them up until they exploded with his special ice cream. But I don't understand how he could force them to eat them. <laughs> Is that exactly what you're asking? Honestly, sometimes I wonder if we're really siblings. Charlie, it's free ice cream. I think few could turn that down easily. Anyway, what I don't understand is why Rod is still fattening kids up and locking them away if he's already done with his revenge. Is he plotting a bigger crime? Well, what I don't understand is how Jay, after reading the crime diary, didn't go directly to the police. Surely we would have saved ourselves a lot of trouble. Does that comment sound interesting to you, Liz? I miss Chloe. I've had her for as long as I can remember, and she's always been such a good friend. <laughs> she drools on me every time I come home, though. And we don't know what to do. <laughs> hmm. Does anyone know what a nun with a giant sledgehammer is doing, running around? Yeah, it's actually getting pretty crowded in here with weird enemies. We have seen Rod very few times, to be honest. I imagine Rod will be taking a nap. Once he's locked us in the factory for good, he'll think we have no escape and is just waiting for us to surrender. Yeah, but who was that ugly nun? I think I heard her say here that she is looking for her son. Does that make sense? Don't look at me. I'm your brother. I think we're near a river. It's not the one in Spokane. Maybe further north? I hope we're not too far from home. I'm looking forward to a hot bath with colorful bubbles. <sighs> that we're all quiet, even for a moment, is something that makes me feel at home. Even if we're far away, and there's a crazy ice cream man chasing after us, wanting to cage us. But that aside, this moment is cozy. A sexy ninja blood, of course. There's so much going on that sometimes I get a little dizzy when I think about it. 
But I feel like when we're older, we'll look back on this with some nostalgia. The truth is, I see you all very funny. So chubby and round. <laughs> I would kill for a bath with lots of bubbles, a little perfume, and some rubber ducks. My parents are surely looking for me. Liz and Charlie were on the news and everything. Even if we don't get out of here on our own, they'll still find us somehow. What are my parents doing? I miss them. The truth is, I want to eat ice cream. If this factory wasn't an arsenal of poisonous ice cream that makes you explode, it would be paradise. Back in its day, this must have been a very busy plant. Full of people in the museum area, also in the cafeteria, or buying clothes in the souvenir store. With Joseph Sullivan, this was a more normal place. Yeah, now it's all upside down. Ugh, rot has corrupted everything. But didn't Joseph also make those special ice creams? You know, the ones that taste so good they make you fat in like two seconds. Yeah, but I don't think he was kidnapping kids, was he? I don't know. That family story is anything but normal. <sighs> Thinking so much is making me a little tired. But I gotta be alert and do my best. Otherwise, I don't think we'll be able to escape. And yeah, we should all do the same. Oh, these mini rods are obnoxious, but they've done a good job rebuilding Boris. Don't tell me that you're going to get some ideas and build a huge robot with laser eyes that destroys the walls and flies us home and on the way gives us ice cream from a secret pump that only he knows where it is. No. So many adventures we imagined in our secret lair. Here we are now, escaping from a crazy ice cream man inside his factory full of robots. The truth is, I want to eat ice cream. If this factory wasn't an arsenal of poisonous ice cream that makes you explode, it would be a paradise. Jay, have you seen that robot? <laughs> it's scarier than Maddie, the kitchen robot. Yeah, I thought I got rid of it. I got him to fall through a hole and smash into the downstairs floor. Get him to hit it harder. These labs look like they were doing experiments on primates a long time ago. And right now they even have hamsters in some places? What's the point? It's supposed to be an ice cream factory. Yeah, an ice cream factory, but some of them are poisonous. Don't forget, they probably tested their effects on animals. I imagine they replaced the workers with robots to keep their secrets safe as well. That way, they could do all kinds of crazy prohibited things. I just hope the hamsters in the lab are okay. They were too cute. Mike, do you know that I'm good in biology class? Yeah, you are. I've seen you mixing strange liquids in class before. But I'm not bad at it either. But stars come out of your eyes every time you do it. Since I discovered that you can mix various liquids and change their properties, the truth is, that fascinates me. Hmm, you wouldn't have happened to have anything to do with the mysterious pink explosion that happened recently in the girls' bathroom, right? It was radical, but it's a confidential information. If I tell you, I won't be able to leave you alive. Do you understand? If we destroy all the electrical generators, we'll be out of here in no time. Prod won't be able to hold us any other way. And there are no blueprints for any other secret structures throughout the factory. I've used this computer before. I'm pretty sure I can connect it to the generator to hack it. That's great, Mike. You are very skilled with these mechanical devices. Aw, thanks, Liz. <laughs> Well, we have to stay calm and make sure everything goes according to plan. That way, nothing bad can happen to us. Right? 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 <laughs>